Hello and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. My name is Silfid and with me are... Introduce yourselves. Vickis. Sean, it's me. Uh, I prefer Pepper. to remain nameless as I don't want to be associated with this. Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you Fair coming? Fair enough. Oh, is that what yes, we're doing, Scurvy? Yeah. I'll be there soon. Damn it! Yeah. Good. They, they buried her already. <laughs> so, what's this? Uh, we are currently listening to a couple people nice talking outside the animals. God, things got so fucked up so fast. Mm -hmm. I can tell out. because we have a very stylish jacket yeah, that probably wouldn't have existed in activity, 17 whenever. This it. game takes place well, in 1511. Keep it posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Uh, I tried. Yeah, it's understandable. So... History ha Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome about 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me, or uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were were mainly salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bay Effendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardim at the belir me, Effendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Kaldin Kardashem. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. 
da Firenze, the city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, Mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Oh, it's, it's called like a title, Mentor da Firenze. Right. The hierarchy is... His health is looking a little low for a mentor. I need to uh, change my uh, name to uh, Scurvy Kip Da Something Awful. <laughs> but yeah, the hierarchy of the assassins is a little unclear, but mentor is pretty high up in the ranks. How old is Ezio at this point? Makes sense. They're all about that kind of thing. Ezio, the truth. Ezio is either in his late 50s or early 60s right about now. So he's Welcome pretty old. He's, he's old enough to be using uh, Just for Men Touch of Grey. Right. And he... <laughs> and... I, I still have a hard time believing that exists. <laughs> it's just like, really? It's if you want to work in management but don't want to seem too old. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So and... this, is, this is Yusuf... Yeah, this is completely made up since Yusuf is probably not a historical figure. Probably they, not a historical every once figure. In a while, but we don't they'll... really know that because they pull some really, really obscure people out sometimes. Yeah, I don't I don't know if But he Yusuf probably doesn't exist. Yeah. They my make up a lot of my <laughs> days scouring Wikipedia are endless searching for this Yusuf. <laughs> You won't find more diversity anywhere in the city. You meet a lot of, of course, of you don't really know if that would be how you'd spell his name. I would like to see you meet a lot of people. Oh yeah, when you get the language barrier and translation errors over the course of centuries, yeah, that can get really bad. <laughs> yeah, you meet a Ubisoft names a lot of people who sound like they have legitimate names of the era, but they're fake. They do that a lot in these games, but you'll frequently meet people who's. This game is they sound authentic. So. Yeah, exactly. They sound authentic, but they may not necessarily be so. I saw the wisdom. <laughs> the contents of Altair's They're like takeout Mexican food. <laughs> not realizing it has been seen for three centuries. All the ingredients no, are there. I assumed but... as much. <laughs> but I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Hmm. So what are we doing the, the classic walking conversation yeah. about here? Yeah, it seems to be a theme with the cities in this game, where as soon as you get to them, you sort of take a little walking tour of them. I kind of like you that. It certainly beats two yeah, talking they've, they've heads done that standing in the same spot no forever, the just talking. Not just one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, 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 may, it lends a little bit of realism to this series that is so chock full of realism. Yeah. <laughs> It's, you did that with uh, Leonardo da Vinci when you got to Venice in Assassin's Creed 2. Mm -hmm. You got you did that with Machiavelli mm -hmm. in uh, Rome, and now you're doing it with Yusuf Tazim in Constantinople. There you go. Yeah, I've only They're played uh, Assassin's Creed and, the Ottomans. and, the Ottomans. and that was one of the most boring fucking games ever. Oh, watch out. It was yeah, really interesting, oh. but it was really boring. <laughs> Should have used a sword instead of a gun. All right. Yeah. Well, this isn't in, this isn't in, in you know an Indiana Jones movie. So. This is, apparently it's an anti-Indiana Jones movie. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Then. Oh my God, that was that was brutal. That was metal as yeah, fuck. He I got, like this he game already. <laughs> yeah, he got a sword really stuck right through it. Was that intentional? No, no. Watch. Well, that's one of the kill animations uh, he can do. Well, I know that one of the yeah the thing with the uh, Byzant there are a lot of Byzantine now the rats. Oh, uh, go ahead. The thing I remember a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, there are a lot. The thing with Byzantines. Uh, there's a bit of lag on the Skype call. Sorry, people. Ottoman soldiers. Okay, yeah. Loathing for these Byzantine thugs. Oh boy. That gives us some breathing room. Uh, yeah. Byzant yeah, there are Byzantine Templars and regular Ottoman soldiers wandering around Constantinople, and if they ever run into each other, they'll frequently it's start so fighting. Bad, really. Nice. Yeah. I love infighting. Yeah, it's hilarious. To, it's hilarious to get involved fighting uh, some Byzantines, and then a bunch of a bunch of Ottoman soldiers come around and start fighting them. You can just run off and watch the AI fighting itself. 
Your new best friend. I like, uh... I mean, I was introduced to infighting for all the way back in Quake. Mm -hmm. almost there. There's something great about computers I'm, I'm fighting each, each other in fighting. PvE games. Like, no matter what, it's always fun. Ex mm -hmm. Exactly. See, I guess it makes sense that the Templars would not really be friends. And right now, we are in the Gauntlet. Or, welcome people around here, I guess is the best way to yeah, put that. Yeah, the... Yeah, the the, Byzant, the Byzantines were overthrown more than 60 years ago at the time this mm -hmm. game starts, but I wonder why they're still wandering around hmm. here. <clears throat> like Byzantine, like, soldiers or whatever? Yeah, they call themselves, the game calls them Byzantine Templars. Interesting. Oh. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. One idea. I've kind of noticed as a general thing with the with these games that like they really go out of their way to make white people the evil guys. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I'm perfectly happy to have a story where like non-white people are actually the good guys. But it definitely seems like they do that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, well, I mean, you can always wait for uh, Shaq Fu Allegedly Born. <laughs> That's the game I want to play. <laughs> but yeah, we're currently in the uh, Asiatic side of Constantinople mm. in the Galata district. Hmm. Oh, right, because Constantinople... The the it's European the side of the... Uh, in between the strait of, what's it called it? Right. Bospora. I think that's it. Right, the... Earn enough, earn enough money to buy new armor. <laughs> <laughs> and by earn, we mean pickpocket yeah. absolutely everyone. They don't need it. And yeah, unlike in Assassin's Creed 2, and I think bro and I think Brotherhood, you don't have to hold down circle near someone to pickpocket. Oh, it's just like them. a mode? You just have to fast walk. Oh, into okay. That's easier. It yeah. just happens automatically. No that's that, that's like somehow even Ooh, worse. Hundred percent sync. Good like, job, Ezio. Oh man. Good job. <laughs> nice job <laughs> buying <Great>. that armor. <laughs> you bought that armor exactly like Ezio unlocked. would have. Yeah, it's Praise the heavens. We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. It's... it's you can I'm, be I'm a trying pretty to understand huge the practical the use of blade. this, and it just doesn't make sense compared to a straight sword, a straight edge. It'll make sense when we can zip well, line it's, it's around. Good for I'm going grappling to, I'm around going to be as... spurging about. I'm going to spurg out about weapons for a second. Oh, I see. Okay, that's the application. <laughs> Never yeah, mind. Yeah, it's a grappling <laughs> device. Gonna punch someone and, in the face uh, with it. Right. Ezio to stab I'm gonna. Either. I'm gonna let this one slide. <laughs> yeah, the hook blade. 
The hook blade is the funnest means of manual conveyance in the series so far. Yeah. You can do a lot of neat stuff. Oh, so you have like a lot of control over it? I'm. Like, yeah. I mean, it looks cool. It's it's definitely one of the I'm things about the game. Like, that really little that, that little in someone's flesh. Like, it's definitely one of the things about the series that that uh, spinning the, sparkly thing we just go. passed. That uh, the hook blade or like that. Do you use very easy to control weapons? like? But sometimes it kind of feels like you don't have enough control of it. Like it's just really doing cool things for you automatically. Yeah, that, that's kind. That's kind of. Yeah, that's kind of one of the things that's weird with this game is that you have a lot of maneuvers, but they're kind of hard to pull off because your character is kind of sluggish. Mm. Like, uh, there's. Well, of course he's sluggish. It's kind of hard. Like in it's his fucking forties, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's kind of how the series plays. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah, you see that sparkly thing in the distance I just passed? I do, yes. <laughs> so, okay, so now you're targeting him? Okay, I will, I, will, I will talk about those later. Okay. I'm just going to ignore those for the moment. Well, that's a shame. We'll get you're so lonely looking. Well, yeah, but I, w I just want to complete these sort of introductory missions before... Mm -hmm. Before you get into the hardcore collectathons. I get too far distracted by shiny things. Yeah. Well, I, w I won't show you the hardcore stuff. I mean, yeah. I won't show you the hardcore stuff because it's just me bumbling around Constantinople looking for shiny things, but... That's... Yeah. Next video, I'll sort of be doing That's a more grand what I do tour when I go on of the vacation. city. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Okay then. <laughs> and then they just stopped. Wow, <laughs> that guy's a dick. Oh, okay, what? they're actually practicing on these guys. Oh, okay, yeah. that's yeah, oh, that oh, he's fine. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that to him. I, Why? I don't, I don't know how what I did. Do? <laughs> don't know oh, how. oh, he's he's okay. I don't know how he's I did fine. that to him. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He, I was. I was like. I was actually these games a bit worried are, that he sort of these crumpled. games are perfectly programmed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is wrong. I was sort of I was sort of worried he crumpled and died, and I'd have to restart the mission because he wouldn't get back mm. up. Sorry, Desmond. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts. You see, the hook and the blade, so you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about the bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene, let's go. Largest structure no, in the game. It's a race. Nice. And you're well, gonna do it in a minute? Not that's not that really a race. Cool. He's, you climb the largest all, structure all, this early in yeah. the game? It may be, I'm not sure since I can't really do side by side comparisons. Fun? Maybe one of the minarets in the other parts of town are taller, but this is certainly the most That's distinctive right. structure if you're just scanning the, the skyline of Constantinople. Most phallic. So, do you spend your ent the entire game here? What's that? Do you spend the entire game in Constantinople? <laughs> Throw yourself Pretty into much. Uh, there's some parts that take place outside the city, but this is where you'll spend about 95% of the game. That's basically Rome to brohood. That's kind of lame. Yeah, except it's an even bigger city than Rome. It has two sides. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled the city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Race you to the bottom? Well, you're gonna race. You're gonna race? Why are you... That guy's... <laughs> never mind. Yeah. He's just goofing Ooh, around. Oh, thank god there's a pile of hay on top of the oh, tallest tower in the It could have been a mission. But yeah, that mosque way in the background there, that's the Hagia Sophia. Mm. Is that how you say that? We'll be, expo we'll be exploring much of the European side of the city next video. Mm. The so Hagia Sophia. 250 whatevers. 
I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. They just Good randomly man. speak in their own language and then randomly in English. Is that like an animus thing, or is it just... That uh, that may be sort of a U that may be sort of a Ubisoft yeah, stylish thing. Yeah, that's kind thing. of an Assassin's Creed thing. Or they're just too lazy to little... actually have it in the right language. They're just like, yeah, we'll just it's use these accessibility phrases. thing. They know that English-speaking people are meant to be playing the game. It's a... Yeah, it when he tires of running, an assassin must take yeah. to the air. Yes, and it's not that uh, Ubisoft has trouble hiring sort of speakers of different languages to voice do their games. They they hired a Mohawk voice actor for the main character in Assassin's Creed. Oh, really? Three, wow. And they had actual Native American voice actors doing that game. So I'm sure it was with, within their power to get a Turkish speaker to do uh, the Turkish characters in this game. But uh, the in-game explanation for it is that the Animus defaults things to mm -hmm. English for ease of user accessibility. I'm glad they have an explanation at least. A Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. <laughs> Assassin! Help! No Spanish is and French are one of them. What the Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? See, si. the Galata Den. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide it, Ascale. A, a, le a letter from his father told him about a secret library under the no. Assassin no. Fortress at Masyaf. <laughs> And when he arrived there in the last video, he was he discovered it had been overrun by Templars. So he took a book from the Templar <laughs> captain saying right there, there were five keys to Altair's secret library. Yeah. Walk up, shoot but me, shoot me, bro. There are five keys to his secret the library. Fruit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there are five keys to Altair's secret mm. library. One of them is in the hands of the Templars currently, and the other four are somewhere in Constantinople. Yeah. So that's why everything he is here. always comes back to. Oh, Altair. so he's got to collect the MacGuffins. Got it. Yeah. Ezio personally doesn't know exactly what's behind that, was that, a, that, was that a great door, the door to his library. Yeah. But yeah, Ezio doesn't know exactly what's behind that door, but he knows he doesn't want the Templars to have it. <laughs> that seems to just be like the way this series works. Yep. Also aliens. Actually, there are no confirmed aliens in this series. Yeah, okay. It's just the ones who came... Except the ones who came before were just there before, not necessarily that they came from outer sure, space. Sure, sure. Yeah. They could That's be. Why I always, they like... could be. It. They could be. It's just never <laughs> said. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was like just they were living there before humans. Not necessarily that they were. That's a. When I view Sheriff Fusta, is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. And are you ready for a complete change of pace? I love complete changes mission? of pace. Oh, well, yeah. you better. Well, you. It's, yeah, I'll explain more about it. When oh, the actually is starts. this a tower defense game? <laughs> it Please is. Please tell me this is tower defense. Yes. <laughs> Nothing like a tower defense mini game to pad out your game. I had no idea that this existed. 
Well, the thing is, this is the only... The, this is the only required tower defense game you have to do in the entire game. You can just ignore this mechanic for the entire rest of the game, but... But we have to do this one at the very least. I feel least. like that's kind of par for the course for a lot Basically, of Basically, what's going to happen is a bunch of Templars... Like, there's a lot of mechanics. Yeah, ignore. they sort of come up with, like, one or two sort of gimmicky mechanics. Make your stand there. Yeah. Defend that area. But yeah, what's gonna happen is a bunch of Templars are gonna come run, uh, going down this street and towards the assassin den at the end. Mm -hmm. We have to stop them. Okay. And to do that, you assign units to the rooftops and the streets. For example, these crossbowmen are just simple snipers. There. They'll just pick off Templars with their crossbows. Make your stand there. So more Alex's money. Uh, morale is the troops you can actually put. For example, we have mm -hmm. 8 morale, so we can't do anything. Uh, at 10 morale, we can assign a crossbow. Mm. So, at what point did Ubisoft say, Hey guys, go on Congregate and uh, <laughs> find what's the most popular tower defense game. We're going to rip that off <laughs> in our game. And... Now, and not only in the streets, but you can put up barricades in the streets. The Templars have to destroy those to actually get to your Ah, game. so now it's getting strategic. I, I've spent yeah. way too much time playing tower defense games on the internet. This does not impress me. I play them on my phone. So many. Thanks for his zombies destroyed my life. <laughs> I think they would just climb over it instead of whacking at the barrels. I kind of forgot, sword. but in it. Yeah, you yeah. don't really need to. Yeah, in in addition to your dudes being able to shoot people, you can also shoot dice. Look how it zooms in on the last dude. From the hidden gun under Ezio's left helmet. Yeah. Especially as he was running away saying he has a family, and I just shot him right in the back. Take him out. That's just how I roll. Make your stand there. I need you to hold that And point. riflemen are the strongest individual ranged unit, uh, but they cost 15 morale to deploy. Mm. It's pretty standard stuff so far. And uh, assassin leaders, yeah, assa assassin leaders uh, sort of motivate their guys to fire faster when they're around, okay. but you can't just place them anywhere you want. So they're the boost towers. Yeah. Well, this is the only really tower defense anything I've ever played. Mm -hmm. There, there's... Oh, wow! They just blew that thing up! Yeah. Like... I do like that you can recall your units. Mm. Yeah. New barricade. This is interesting. Um, this is you can also upgrade barricades. Ah. And you have cannons you can fire too. Since this game sort of takes place at the at the beginning, and I completely wasted that. Nice. But since this game takes place sort of at the dawn of the gunpowder age, uh, you can't you can't use uh, rifles personally. You do have your hidden You're gun for point. gun attacks, but um, more enemy more more people than ever in any previous Assassin's Creed use guns in this game. I mean, in Brotherhood and Two, they had cross they had crossbows. Or rooftop guards, but uh, rooftop guards now have guns. Damn. It's been proven that any game that lets you use single shot guns as your as one of your main weapons is terrible. <laughs> and I'm not like hmm. counting unless you're unless you're counting like Age of Empires or Civilization. But it's not really your We're main about, weapon. Like, that's games. like your minions' main weapon. Yeah, that's why you can use it for them. Ever, yeah, you any can also the... upgrade barricades to make them stronger. Like I was just doing there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and you can put people on them too. And you can place guys in the street to give you a little more firepower. Nice. 
Yeah. And Templars just get butchered there. Immediately. Never mind! <laughs> but that one. <laughs> that one is starting to come back for some reason. You know, maybe it wasn't so bad, guys. Able to move? I just find it kind of funny for the loyalist of a dismantled M No, Ezio can't move around. He just has to watch the action. But that is not entirely true. This is sort of a basic tower defense just to get you used to this mechanic, but uh, in later tower defenses, oh. sometimes there will be rooftop enemies who will come after Ezio directly and you ah. have to fight them. Yo, you better watch out. They have a literal battering ram. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. It's and cross a ram. That's his custom. Yeah, crossbow guys are pretty much useless against the battering ram, but rifle guys are they good against it. No, don't don't stand in front of. Uh, that's uh, that's some pretty good stuff. Yo, now would be a good time to use the cannon, though. Yo, they're getting pretty close. Oh, there it goes. I'm glad it explodes, too. Everything has to explode. I like how everything just explodes <laughs> in Spoons of Wood. Even if it's like, a, you know, even if it's like just some random dude that kills it. Only 70% sink. Ezio would have done it better. Well, everything explodes in video games. That's true. Yeah, I don't know what I could. I don't think any Templars ever really ever got to the den. Maybe if I had saved more of my dudes' lives, that it would have gone better. But whatever. Screw it. I do not care. Uh, I thought this was a hundred percent LP. Come on. God. It will be. Just not a just not a hundred percent den defense synchronization LP. <sighs> well, if you then it's do not a hundred percent LP. Your own revelations thread. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar Den. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Onward. And downward. Yep. Well, that's this easy. next mission... And the neat thing with zip lines is you don't even have to start at the top of them. You can just jump oh, sideways cool. towards the zip line and roll down it. Nice. Yep. I mean, that shouldn't dislocate his shoulder at all, surely. <laughs> Oh, I see you had a revenue dispot deposit. Well, nothing kills it. So that MCU. mechanic's back in this game. Yeah, uh... Oh, so yep. you'll be able to break the economy again? Uh, you actually need quite a bit of money to buy absolutely everything for 100% sync. Um, in addition to that, you also need to renovate shops to get them to start doing stuff for you, like tailors and blacksmiths and bookstores. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what as you, you buy renovate more places, you, uh, you buy books like the Odyssey and the Iliad, and also you get to read real them. books. It's the full text of the book no. contained in this game. But you can also buy treasure maps, which show. You, yeah, that you can also buy really treasure cool. maps, which show you the location of collectibles, like the glowing thingies we saw earlier this video. Makes sense. But now we are I mean, headed over to the Imperial yeah. District, which is oh where the Ottoman Sultan's Palace is. This is where the cool kids are. But we don't Sounds have any good. reason to go to the Sultan's Palace. Ezio, yeah, you don't have any friend. reason to go to the palace no, right now. Suddenly. You will eventually. Oh. Oh. Through his helmet! So can you kill people by punching them? Yeah. You fight like a man late for his own wedding. See, si. by about 25 years. I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way! Doubled in size from when one to two people. Control of the district. I mean, you they got Ezio, that's really all you need. Hanging banners, extorting the merchants, the constant battle. Ezio is like yeah. 100 people. They rub our noses. In he detail. certainly murdered a hundred people in this bold. video alone. 
Why does the Sultan tolerate this? Sultan Bayezid is far away, Ezio. Warring with his son Selim, many Fersa northwest of the city. He has been away for years. Uh, Yusuf just day. mentioned Sultan Bayezid. He's not the same guy who blind. captured Constantinople. Ah, but your that was Mehmed the second. Yeah. And that woman just completely got in my and way. Now you're part of the harem. Yep. Too many to engage directly. I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. Smoke bomb? It's you. It's yes, time you that is a great line. The 16th <laughs> These do not obscure. They distract. But yeah, uh, crafting and using bombs is the other major mechanic of this game that isn't in any of the other creeds. You see? They can't we can't craft bombs ourselves right now, but we will very soon. Oh, thank God. You are full of surprises today. So basically, it's just bomb is central. One we borrowed from the Chinese and have taken to with great passion. We borrowed, yeah, there are. And we probably stole it. You know. Who is the mentor here? Uh, you can find you treasure chests with bomb ingredients <laughs> all over the city. People are carrying bomb ingredients for <laughs> no reason in particular. Um, and you can just, you can carry up to nine. You can carry up to twelve oh, bombs God. of your own at any one time. So you just bomb. Bombs, 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 bombs everywhere. I love it. And there's also neat bombs like the lamb's blood bomb that you throw on people and it splatters lamb's blood all over them. <laughs> Did you just say you meat bombs? Pretty much. Lamb's blood. Well, he, he said neat, not meat. Because I thought you said yeah, meat I, bombs. Well, yeah. Wait, cherry bombs? I don't think they were called cherry bombs back in the 16th century. What, are we going to throw him into a 16th century now. toilet? <laughs> what 16th century <laughs> toilet? There they go. But there's, uh, there's also the iron hey, pyrite bomb, which is there. a bomb filled with fake gold coins that you can throw onto the street yes. and civilians will flock to pick I up love money bombs. fake gold. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you have truth bombs? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. That's a shame. But you have poison bombs. You toss them into a crowd, it poisons everyone inside of it. Oh dear. This is another of our many dens. Take well, let's my murder them. My uh, first attempt at this mission was... My first attempt at this mission was quite embarrassing. I'll tell, and I'll tell you why in about a few minutes after this little cutscene is done. So you're saying we don't get to see the fun run. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. Unfortunately, no. This camera. Are you in control here? Uh, I mean, you can fail missions in this game and... No, I'm just, I'm just watching, guys. But yeah, there are lots of funny ways to fail missions, but just in the interest of time, I had to cut them out. Aww. I will try to remember all the hilarious ways I failed missions. Because at least I have the camera running when I do. Yeah, there you go. You make, like, a, a video. Oh, you just have to... Gotcha. Over here. Okay, you so here have, you uh... have to talk to. No, go ahead. Here you have to talk to. Here you have Whenever to talk to Yusuf to, to keep this mission things. going and actually they summon the Templar Charles. captain. Search but on my first care. attempt, I forgot <laughs> I about that, that, and I was wandering around the Templar-controlled area without without any captain, <laughs> and I was wondering where this guy was. He doesn't spawn until you talk to him. So. I was just wandering around until I got spotted, and then I had to restart because full synchronization requires you don't get spotted uh. here. <laughs> Oops. Is it... do you yep. have to <laughs> get... kill him without getting spotted? Or yeah. after... you, you just have, you have to, to escape without getting spotted, too? You, you have to kill him and then light the signal fire on top of the tower without getting spotted to f fully synchronize this mission. And there he is, just milling about. Doesn't even notice the body. Uh, oh, there well, they go. No, they did notice the My body. God. That's the thing. This is like, but... Eh, well, mm. whatever. 
Uh, Just an average day. One of my soldiers are dead for no reason. Uh, he'll he'll be getting his. It was the 1500s and the 1600s. Oh, there he goes. Yep. So now we uh, ET phone home to tell the rest of the assassins that we're good. Yeah. Now I just now I now I. Yeah, now I just need to climb to the top of this tower to let everyone know. And I like, ran next to a couple of guards, but I got away from the Because who would expect someone to jump off of a roof? The thing with guards is that they have I two don't see stages I've seen him before. You. Yeah, they have two states of noticing you. When it, it starts filling up with yellow, that's, that's, that's when they see you, but they aren't doing anything hostile. And then when it when that yellow fills to red, then they'll actually come over right. and investigate where you are. Yep, I remember that. And then they're like, oh and crap, if the, so and if, which counts and as if, being And spotted. if the red fills up. Yeah, and if the red fills up all the way, then you get spotted. Right. Oh. Well, the fire started. Best, I we, guess we better it leave. I just be like, well... Oh no! Well, they, well, they know a Do bunch it, of the not staff create any conflict around okay. that location. That makes more sense than yeah. Getting spotted. That's basically the same thing. Yeah, I should have said that. Because but... technically, they did spot you. You know, it's just. Yeah, I, I just ran off before I started actually fighting mm -hmm. them. I'm seeing very strange activity in the Animus. Oh. The CPU should be fairly idle. Actually, the conversation that happened at the very start of the video, um, I cut off the recording for the first. I'm not sure. I cut off the recording for the Did first video just update? before they started talking again. Fair enough. God, I but yeah, I started record. I stopped recording just before they started talking, uh, so I was worried that I cut out an entire conversation, but. 16? Desmond, think about this. What if I went with you? With me? Where? It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... I don't want to be here anymore. That's... that's not going to happen. Sorry. No. <laughs> I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. Were they close? Desmond and Lucy? I mean, closer than friends? Uh, well, there was the occasional misty-eyed moment, but, uh... She liked him, Bill. That's what she told me. Hmm. Interesting. That's it? Just interesting? I spent a lot of time training each of them when they were younger. She was a remarkable woman. I just find this whole situation... quite sad. Sad? Are you finally getting soft on us, Bill? Glad we can close that loop. But uh, in, the, this, in this little hub area, you can, yeah, you can just monkey around what's called the Amazon.